Hello, my name is Terry Hodgkinson, and welcome to week two of Meditation Basics for the Inner and Outer You program. Today's session, Hakuin's Butter Egg Meditation. After listening to last week's meditations, you should have a good foundational understanding of some meditation basics, and you are ready to continue. Before we begin with Hakuin's Butter Meditation today, let's do a simple review of some points. Your eyes are closed and your body posture is either lying back or is sitting upright in a chair, or your back against a wall as you're sitting comfortably on the floor. The important thing to remember here is keeping your back straight. This will make it easier for the next point, which is proper breathing. When your back is straight, you are now ready and able to draw in your breath deeply, all the way down to your lower abdominal region. There is no doubt that when you change your breathing, you change your chemistry, your physiology, and your biology. When you adjust your breathing, you adjust the state of mind and body. Go ahead now and take a deep breath in. As you do, your lower stomach should expand outward. After you've breathed in fully, go ahead and exhale, and your stomach will return to its natural position. You can place your hand lightly on your lower stomach, just below your navel, to feel that it moves in this way when you breathe in deeply. Go ahead and do that now while you listen to my voice. When you first start any meditation session, you begin with a number of controlled, deep, conscious breaths. The better this control, as you learned last week, you can concentrate on counting with your breathing. You count to four as you breathe in deeply, then count to seven as you hold your breath, and then eight as you slowly exhale. Your tongue comfortably placed to the roof of your mouth on the ledge just behind your top front teeth. As you exhale, your lips are slightly pursed and exhaling your breath through your open mouth. This counting method is used at first to learn proper spacing with your breathing practice. Once you have learned the spacing pattern, you can discontinue the actual counting and just follow the same breathing pattern. In a moment, I will count to four as you breathe in. Then hold your breath as I count for you to seven, and then release to the count of eight. Ready? Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. With your hand on your lower stomach, you should feel it push outward with your breath in. Ready now. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and breathe out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. One more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold now. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. And breathe out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With your hand on your lower stomach, it should become obvious to you that as you are breathing in deeply, your stomach was pushing outward. And then, on the exhalation, your stomach naturally returns back. Each time you start a meditation session, it is advised that you start with this breathing pattern. It helps to eliminate any stress, any strain. It helps to clear your mind by simply focusing on the breathing pattern itself. After you've initiated the breathing pattern three, four times, then you can simply breathe normally and continue with your meditation. Breathe normally now, just letting go of the concentration of numbers while you're breathing, and breathe in and out through your nose. Of course, you can always take more time and practice these controlled breathing repetitions if you like, and it would only be beneficial for you to do so. But for the purpose of these guided meditations and the time consideration, three controlled breathing repetitions are sufficient. Returning to the normal breathing and continuing, of course, to draw your breath deeply down to the abdominal region. Proper breathing is one of the most important things you can do for maintaining your health. There is a right way and a wrong way to breathe. Children breathe deeply from their diaphragm. As we age, however, our breathing shifts to the chest and becomes shallower and more rapid. We need to remember the intuitive wisdom of our youth and breathe deeper. As you continue to relax, listening to my voice, I will tell you about Hakuin's discovery of the butter meditation. This is a great meditation to practice for many imbalances of mind and body. Hakuin lived in the 17th century and eventually became known as a very famous Zen master. Before he became famous, however, he brought himself to mental and emotional exhaustion working ever so tirelessly. Feeling incredibly ill, he knew he had to seek out guidance for healing before he could go back to working effectively. After consulting many doctors of his day, nothing seemed to help. However, he remembered on many of his wanderings throughout Japan, he had once heard of a Taoist hermit living in the mountains who was renowned for his miraculous powers he dragged himself there and asked the locals for instructions how to find this old hermit. After following a river that led upward to a cave, he found the old man meditating in the cave. He shared his symptoms with the old Taoist hermit, explaining that his activities and non-activities were unbalanced. He said he had tried everything to cure his ailment, yet nothing seemed to work. He was experiencing heart palpitations, ringing in the ears, and dizzy spells on a regular basis. He couldn't decide what to do one minute or what to do the next. He felt he was becoming mentally unhinged. He also told the hermit that from the waist down he was always cold, and from the waist up he was hot, which according to ancient Chinese wisdom should have been the other way around. The wise hermit listened and could tell that Hakuin's physical problems were caused by his extreme self-denial and rigid discipline and were largely psychosomatic. In other words, they originated from mental and emotional stress. He told him that he would have to do a particular meditation that involved visualization and auto-suggestion to be healed. The hermit said Hakuin must redirect the original life energy of his body into his center of breathing, his dantian, and down to his legs and feet. The wise Taoist told him he would need to practice the butter meditation. Go ahead now 
and imagine a soft piece of butter about the size of a duck's egg. This butter egg is made up of a special recipe for whatever your challenges require. If they are physical, like that of discomfort or pain, then perhaps the magical elixir consists of detachment, allowing soothing relaxation to come forth with massage-like effects. If the difficulty lies in your mind, then perhaps the butter recipe is full of mental calmness and clarity, dissolving away any fog that has clouded the sound faculties of your mind or the true nature of the self. If you experience emotional fatigue or pain, then the recipe can have just the right amount of serenity and acceptance, allowing you to meet any situation feeling stronger with a better emotional constitution. Whether it is something physical, mental, or emotional, this soft egg contains solutions that bring harmony to imbalances. Its properties have been used for hundreds of years for relieving exhaustion of the vital breath and are particularly wondrous. It counteracts a rush of blood to the head, warms the legs, settles the bowels, brightens the eye, augments good wisdom, and is effective in casting aside all negative thoughts. Even if you do not know what a remedy would consist of for your ailment, it's okay. Just take a moment to play like when you were a child and imagine that whatever the properties of such a remedy would be, they magically mix in all fine parts and are now present. After steeping all of these ingredients in the juice of patience for one night and drying in the shade, they are mashed all together now seasoned with a dash of satori, and then shape everything in a ball the size of a duck's egg, and set it securely on your head. Now, to start the healing contents of this butter egg working, repeat three times after me while breathing deeply. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Now imagine this delicately scented soft golden butter like object on your head slowly beginning to melt from the heat generated in your upper body. As the butter continues to melt, you feel a strange sensation as the whole head becomes moist. Gradually this feeling flows downward as the butter oozes down over the neck, shoulders, elbows, hands, chest, diaphragm, lungs, liver, stomach, backbone, and buttocks all gradually becoming damp. At this time, the various challenges or discomforts that were experienced in body, mind, or emotions all drop down at will, like water flowing naturally to a low place. This sensation is felt throughout the whole body, and it circulates moving downward, warming the legs, until it reaches the soles of the feet. Any stress, strain, or challenges of any kind continue to flow out of the body through the bottoms of your feet, leaving only purity and balance to exist in the mind, body, and spirit. As this visualization meditation is conscientiously brought to maturation, it can work on many issues that have been out of balance, creating discomfort or disease. 
This is indeed a wonderful method for maintaining health, the wondrous art of longevity. The best way to gain the benefits from this meditation is to practice it over and over again. Imagine once again that you have a butter egg resting on the top of your head. It is comprised only of the greatest of mixtures offering relief and rejuvenation. As you initiate the process, releasing the goodness of the butter egg by repeating three times as you breathe deeply, starting now, of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. The butter begins to melt from the heat of your body, making its way down over every part of your body, down your neck, shoulders, arms, chest, gallbladder, spleen, your hands, hips, intestines, legs, all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. Feeling the soothing effects of this healthy butter penetrating all aspects of your body now. You feel your body, especially from the navel down, is steeped in this moisture. As this visualization is being practiced, inducing it with your mind, you may experience that the sense of smell becomes aware of exotic odors. The sense of touch becomes wondrously acute, and the body and the mind highly attuned. Suddenly, the accumulations dissolve, the inner organs are harmonized, the skin becomes radiant, and the energies increase greatly. Soon, this meditation will come to an end. Before you return to the rest of your day, go ahead and practice this visualization meditation one more time on your own. I will repeat the beginning sentence for you three times as you breathe deeply, and then my voice will finish, and you will continue with Hawkwind's magnificent butter egg meditation. Okay, breathe deeply now of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. Of the essentials of preserving life, nourishing the breath has no peer. And the butter egg resting on the top of your head begins to melt.